Although it has been around for a long time, the base teachings of Buddhism are still considered as a map of life, cultivating mindfulness, providing knowledge, and guiding faithful Buddhists to keep developing their bodies and minds. The way of life and the way of the Dhamma have woven the faith of people in each area into one through many valuable cultures and traditions. Ordination is one of the cultural heritages derived from Buddhist faith and later becoming the heritage of the Thai nation. Ordination is not only the way to express gratitude to one's parents, but also the time to purify one's body and mind, to be full of morality, and to learn and enhance one's wisdom, to be a guide to life. Ordination is regarded as a tradition of Buddhist faith, which can be found all over Thailand. The ordination of each region expresses its long-lasting The ordination of each region expresses its long-lasting symbolic beliefs. Although there are differences in traditional identities of the ordination across Thailand, for example the preparation, the novice procession, or the priest's stay at the temple before the ordination, the rite follows the same core principles of the ordination, that is, the customs and disciplines of ordination. The customs and discipline of ordination were set a long time ago when there were a lot of people requesting for the ordination with the Lord Buddha. As individuals had their own different habits and manners, the disciplines of ordination were created by Lord Buddha to characterize the uniqueness of Buddhist ordination. The procedure of ordination is known as papaja, or the samanera, or the samanera ordination for young boys, who are said to mean young renunciants of monkhood. The simple definition of samanera is abandoning improper actions and refraining from unwholesome, demeritorious actions. To achieve the aim of the ordination, a novice has to study, that is, focus on learning, developing one's own bodily, verbal, and mental actions, practicing mindfulness, and gaining wisdom. Thereby, the novice will grow up neatly and prosperously. As the core principle of ordinate to learn, Ordination is the life of learning. After the ordination, ordained novice monks usually move out from their familiar society to remote areas or live in a peaceful environment, because this is an opportunity for ordained novice monks to discover the peace in their own mind and have time for learning and developing themselves to remove defilements, including overcoming all evils. In Isan, or the northeast of Thailand, there are temples in all villages. Parents usually send their young boys, whose age is 10 or more, to ordain as novices to receive education, to learn basic dhamma, 
and to read and write the Dhamma alphabet. The Isan Dhamma characters are one of the symbols of ordination. This may create benefit for themselves or others when they grow up. Before the important ordination day, the young boys prepare flowers and candles together with incense sticks on a plate in order to bid farewell to their relatives. Then they spend the night at the temple to prepare their body and mind for the ordination on the designated auspicious day. This is the time for the boys to practice reciting Buddhist chants and observe the precepts. The most important moment of the ordination is the Tam Kwan ceremony. Chanting in Bali and the Isan dialect, the Tam Kwan songs, describing how life is formed and how parents take care of and nourish their child, are sung beautifully in Sarapanya style. Then it is time for a triple circumambulation ceremony in a clockwise motion, walking around the Uposata Hall on its right side. The circumambulation was originated by King Basenadi, who highly respected Lord Buddha. Whenever the king visited Lord Buddha, he always paid respect by prostrating to Lord Buddha three times, kissing Lord Buddha's feet, and walking clockwise around Lord Buddha three times. This has become the tradition until now. Another meaning of walking clockwise is the purified action of the body, speech, and mind. To move clockwise, or to keep turning right, means to turn to the good deeds of the body, speech, and mind. During the circumambulation of the ordination, the parents hold an alms bowl while relatives hold offerings. After completing the circumambulation, the parents take the young boy's hands and enter the church for the monastic ceremony. After that, relatives and guests give offerings and pour water of dedication in order to transfer merits to relatives who have passed away. An ordination may be short or last long. However, ordained monks or novices learn to create a map of life for their body and mind to be prosperous, to be ready to grow up, and take wisdom as a guideline to lead their lives to good deeds, which benefit themselves, their family, the religion, and society. In order to carry on the traditions under the shade of the Dhamma faith, propagating it to Buddhists and a wider audience, True Little Monk arranged the ordination for 12 little monks at Wat Ba Sangam in Ubon Ratchatani. This takes four weeks. With his mercy, Lung Po Anek Yosatino the abbot of Wat Ba Sangam will organize the ordination and take care of the children during the four weeks of ordination.
ีวิตของคารวาสนี้เป็นชีวิตอยู่ในท่ามกลางตามใจตัวเองเป็นส่วนมากโดยเฉพาะเยาวชนนั้นจะต้องมีพ่อแม่คอยช่วยเหลือประครับประคองทำตามความต้องการของเยาวชนแต่เข้ามาสู่ที่เพศของนักบวชจะเป็นเนนตัวน้อยๆแต่ก็ถือว่าอุดมมาเพศได้เปลี่ยนเพศเข้ามาสู่ไม่มีพิธีกรรมอันไหนที่จะให้ความสำคัญเหมือนกับการบรรพชาอุปสมบทถ้าเนนบวชเข้ามาแล้วเพศนี้จะไปกราบพ่อกราบแม่ก็ไม่นิยมกันสำหรับชาวพุทธถือว่าเข้าสู่พิธีทางศาสนากรองภาคการสาวพัดแล้วพ่อแม่ปู่ย่าตายายเนี่ยกลับมากราบมาไหว้เพราะเหตุอันนี้สิ่งที่เราเข้ามานี้ถ้าเราตั้งใจจริงๆนั้นเป็นเรื่องที่ดีมากเป็นเรื่องที่จะพาชีวิตนำไปสู่ความมีหลักมีกฎมีเกณฑ์มีคุณธรรมถ้าเรามีพร้อมแล้วเราก็สามารถที่จะคุ้มครองตัวเองเป็นต้นแบบของสังคมเป็นต้นแบบของชีวิตเราก็มาเสริมชาติช่วยชาติช่วยสังคมด้วยหลักคุณธรรมมันนี้ก็เป็นเรื่องที่น้องเนนลูกเนนหลานเนนจะต้องอดกลั้นจะต้องอดทนทำอะไรนี่เนี่ยถ้าขาดความอดทนอดกลั้นนี่ก็จะไม่สำเร็จเพราะเหตุอันนี้แหละถ้าอดทนอดกลั้นในการในเวลาที่เราเข้ามาบวชนี่แหละจะถือว่าเป็นหลักชัยของชีวิตที่เราผ่านเข้ามาสู่เพศของนักบวชก็ขอฝากไว้ด้วยความหวังดีทุกคนวิธีมากิลชาร์มของบูดิสม์ที่อีสานรีจันได้ถูกเรียกว่าเป็นแห่งของนักบวชและก็เป็นแห่งของสามคุณสมบัติคือสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติธรรมะและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่งแวดล้อมธรรมชาติและสิ่ง The city has hidden the core of Dhamma and Buddhism for 200 years. The ordination of these 12 children, these Buddhist offspring, in this true little monk project, will reflect the simplicity of the way of the Dhamma, which is characteristic of what Ba Sang Am. Emphasizing the core of Dharma through nature, everything around us is a large, real classroom of life. Dharma, either shown or hidden, waits to be discovered, applied, and linked to self-development. <laughs>